Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Katie and welcome to another bookish adventure. So because of the Black Lives Matter movement, I wanted to use today's video to talk about some books by black authors that I'm really excited about reading. So if you know me, you know what route I'm taking and my route is the ya and kind of fantasy route. That is just the books that I gravitate towards. But of course, there is a whole plethora of books out there aren't fantasy based, which are more contemporary based, which are more real life based. But I wanted to share these because I think this is just as important as reading books that are brutally honest and like show black people's pain. I just wanted to use this as a time to sort of just say share and say that you know like JK Rowling and Sarah J Maas black people also have stories to tell not just their own stories of oppression and just pain but actual stories like you would normally read so that's why I wanted to go down that route because those are the stories that appeal to me and just because they are fantasy based does not mean they are not heaped in social culture and the problems that plague us right now so this book I already own and it is Children of Blood and Bone oh my finger just cracked um by Tommy Adeyemi uh this book has been on my TBR since it came out and like many book hoarders I have a terrible, terrible problem with hoarding books compared to reading them. It's it, it's a curse, I swear. So even before this movement was happening, I had noticed that I had wanted to start reading books that were steeped in other cultures and other mythologies. I think it sort of started with Rebel with the Sands and from there I've just sort of been falling down a black hole of wanting to find more, which weren't just like black culture, but also Middle Eastern, Asian, like I wanted to have a whole scope. So Children of Blood and Bone is about a young woman who lives in this world and land where magic is a thing it exists and one day magic disappears overnight it just goes and basically the king i think it's the king yeah the ruler he is basically doing everything in his power to oppress and target anyone who is a magic wielder so i'm going on the lines of probably murder so she finds that she is at a point where she has to hide who she is as there are not very many magic wielders that was a really hard sentence to say not very many magic wielders left around and she has to hide her abilities but after a, a meeting with a rogue princess she kind of discovers that she has to sort of learn how to wield her powers and this is a chance to give her give her home give her family give her community the hope that they need to sort of rise up and overthrow the monarchy so i think this is a trilogy i'm pretty sure i read somewhere there is a trilogy i have the second one regardless but i think this is a trilogy i am so looking forward to reading this you know me i love me a book steeped in magic it's just as usual taking me forever to get to things next up we have a song below water by bethany c morrow i'm really excited about this i've told you this before i'm trying to find books which are mermaid based and i found one so out of all the books that i'm sharing with you today this one is going to be the more contemporary based one it is about two young black girls who live in port Portland in Oregon and life is hard enough because you know the black community there isn't exactly like Asian but within this black community not very man many of them have magic. This follows um, Tavi and Effie and I think it's Tavi T-A-V-I-A. -A. I'm going with Tavi. So Tavi is taught from a very long young age to hide who she is because she is a siren and people sort of fear them and they discriminate them and they try to lock them away. Her friend Effie is someone who has a lot of questions about her biological family. I think her mum passes away and she has a lot of questions about who she really is once her grandparents sent her off to go and live with her friend so um yeah like i said this is set in portland and um, so it's more um contemporary than the other books and still on the van fantasy like level and yeah from what i can sort of gather so that like looking at synopsis is a, a very varied and in information that i've given but look at the general synopsis i think after a stream of events i think things just sort of come to a head there is a murder trial invol involving a siren uh, i think an internet sensation comes out and she says she's a siren and then after a stop and search the police tavi ends up using her siren voice so i just think it's a whole bunch of things that suddenly just accumulate and sort of rock this community i am looking forward to reading this because like i said sirens mermaids woo! but also it is probably going to be the most contemporary one that i will probably read and based in like a current community the next book is a song of wraiths and ruin by roseanne a brown so this is a duology which i'm so excited about which is based on um, west african folklore and it is about a princess and also about a refugee so um, our refugee is trying to look for a chance to start a new life for his family by entering this festival and when he enters the city vengeful spirits take his sister his younger sister as payment and he tries to make 
make a bargain in order to for her freedom and the bargain is he has to kill the crown princess so the crown princess her mother has recently been assassinated and a lot is sort of falling on her shoulders the crown court are threatening like a mutiny you've also got this festival like looming it's coming i think it's kind of like a competition so there is a lot on her shoulders and she decides to resurrect her mother which is you know a slightly shady kind of magic and requires the heart of a king so the only way that she can obtain said heart is if she offers to marry the victor of the festival so our refugee manages to rig the competition so that he can enter and both of them are pretty much set on a collision course to try and find and kill each other but of course there is a whole sort of love atmosphere which i'm all about i love me a romance i'm not gonna lie love me a romance next book we have is by rena barham i am really really looking forward to this this one is sort of aimed at that kind of people who like children of blood bone and also um strange the dreamer so this one is about a young girl who is born of two lines um of witch doctors but she basically has no power she is yeah not great on the whole magic front and she kind of lives she lives under her mother's sort of disapproving eye and kind of constantly in fear and her mum is this not all powerful but she is kind of high up there on the magic front but then children start to disappear in the kingdom which leads our girl to decide to make a choice and that is to buy her way into magic i really like this concept of it of this way of her bargaining and a bargain to get said magic takes years off her life and of course the more she buys the closer her death is going to be creeping up to her i really like this idea it's this mix of yeah just dark magic but and there's always been that concept of magic comes at a price and i like the idea that this price is years off her life next up we have the gilded ones by namina fauna so this book was actually due to be released i think it was this summer but because of covid it has been pushed to next year which is a shame because this one sounds really fun although let's face it if i bought it this year i would never have gotten around to it so this book takes place in a world where your blood kind of determines your destiny so the lead in this deca she is awaiting the blood ceremony and it's a pretty big thing as this is going to kind of determine what happens to you and at the end ceremony they cut her and her blood runs gold which is the sign of impurity and kind of what i'm gathering from this it you're probably gonna get killed i think but then one day this woman she appears to her and she sort of offers her a chance to have a better life so your options are stay in the village and submit to your fate or come with me and join this army full of girls just like you so they are girls who possess like these um rare gifts and they are rising up to stop the empire's greatest threats so i don't know whether this book is going to kind of be sort of trying to change the way like things are of these people sort of being outcasts or if this is going to be like a bigger threat is looming possibly i'm not sure but i just i like the idea of this sort of you know change your fate and the final book i have for you is the year of the witching by alexis henderson i am very excited about this because i haven't read a book like this at all i mean i haven't really read books like the other ones at all but a lot of them have very similar stories to other books but this one i have not read a book like anyone and like anyone like anything and this gives me serious salem vibes so this book is about a girl named emmanuel who lives in sort of puritan times so you know they fear everything and they fear god but they love god and her mum sleeps with an outsider of a different race and hey ho she is born um so she pretty much does everything she can to remain as low-key as possible so you know just submit to the way of life just do what other women do and just get through it as best as you can but an incident happens and she ends up going into the dark forest that surrounds their village and this forest is kind of known as a place where the prophet once chased i think four witches in there and he killed them and their spirits still live among the trees and when she's in there the spirits come to her with the diary of her mother and she reads it and discovers that her mum once tried to find sanctuary in the trees so this book is kind of that journey of like self-discovery but also discovering who her mother was as she tries to reconcile with the fact that her mum went into these woods willingly and sort of discovers the darker side to this village that she lives in so i don't think this is going to be a magic-y book I I don't think i mean i could be completely wrong if she could end up having powers but the way it is kind of to me the way it's kind of coming off it's that it's the era of speculation being rife but yeah we're going to discover a bigger and scarier thing about the village which i'm really excited for but yeah i've watched a lot of things that i've had like episodes based on salem or watched things like similar around that time i've not read anything like that so i'm really excited for this but yeah it's going to be based in a time of just 
it's gonna be shit for her being mixed race and it's a shit time for women full stop so that is it for my choices so a lot of these are sort of a very feminist and they're also very much on the taking your um your fate and your life into your own hands if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button and as always comment below what books are you picking up by black authors any of these taking your fancy or are there other ones comment below with your recommendations if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button and of course ding the bell i hope you had a very good weekend hopefully i went to alice's hopefully i got to see actual people so excited for this prospect you have no idea as always stay safe out there and i will see you on thursday for another weekly reading vlog